While applied Wing Chun Kung Fu is a fighting art and its study falls in the parameters of physical education, a Wing Chun practitioner should never rely on his strength or size. This is because the art of Wing Chun is based on movements that are based on the body's natural reflexive responses. Therefore, learning applied Wing Chun requires a firm grasp on the scientific principles behind its movements, common sense, and years of dedicated training. Most of the techniques and movements in applied Wing Chun appear to be simple. To execute them precisely, however, the practitioner must fully understand the principles regarding the physics of power along with ancient Chinese philosophy and strategies. The following curriculum that is outlined in this video series is arranged in chronological modules that will allow the practitioner to build a solid foundation in these principles. This is to eliminate any room for misinterpretation that could lead to disparity among the applied Wing Chun schools. Studying the modules will help the practitioner make realistic applications of the applied Wing Chun techniques. Our late Grandmaster Sifu Yip Man taught the same things to everyone. As people have different ways of understanding, many interpretations of his teachings exist today. In my experience, training hard in certain techniques or curriculums does not necessarily mean that you will be able to apply it in a fight. The only way to successfully apply the techniques in a combat situation is by utilizing the principles of Wing Chun in practice and by learning from trial and error. To develop the feel for fighting, you must experience firsthand how the principles come into play while training and learn from failure. In other words, you cannot rely on just training the movement itself to be a good fighter. Rather, you must fully understand the principles behind the movements and be able to verify them in application. Therefore, real application is the only way to truly learn any martial arts. Hello, my name is Larry Sequoia, and I would like to welcome you to this video series on Applied Wing Chun Kung Fu. I would like to take this opportunity to explain how this video series will unfold, what it is that we plan to accomplish, and how we will accomplish it. First, our goal is to document the complete Wing Chun Kung Fu system with an emphasis on its application in fighting, as taught to me by my Sifu Duncan Leung, as was taught to him by Grandmaster Yip Man. First, we must understand what Wing Chun is and what it is not. Many instructors talk about Wing Chun theory and that it is an abstract theoretical art. But it is not theoretical. It is not abstract. Wing Chun is a complete martial system based on principles. 
The difference between theory and a principle is that theory is an unproven idea, and principles are undeniably true because they have been proven. These principles are contained within the forms of Wing Chun, but they are not readily apparent and need to be explained to the student so that when the student performs the form, they do it with the right idea in mind. What we will do throughout this video series is teach all the Wing Chun forms by demonstrating the correct way to perform them, break them down, and explain all the principles in complete detail. Understanding these principles lays the foundation for being able to apply Wing Chun. But equally important is the proper training methods to develop the skill to make Wing Chun work effectively. We will reveal all the training methods to develop speed, power, balance, coordination, reaction, and timing that is required to make the techniques work in application. Then finally, demonstrate the application of some of the most effective techniques I have found most useful in an actual fighting situation. This video series is for anyone who is interested in learning applied Wing Chun Kung Fu. However, if this is your initial exposure to the art, I strongly recommend that you seek out competent instruction from a qualified Sifu in addition to using this video series. For those who may already be training in Wing Chun, my explanation of the principles may not be the same as you currently understand them. In this situation, I would advise that you would talk with your Sifu for further clarification, but urge you to use your own common sense in judging whether or not my explanations are correct for you. So again, I would like to welcome you to this video series and look forward to having you join us for Volume 1, Part 1, where we will be going over Silum Tao, the first form of Wing Chun.